Everyone, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. Thank you so much for being here with me on this Friday to book a private one-on-one -on -one session with me. All of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. Today, I will be uploading a love reading for Sagittarius, and I'm doing a love reading for Aries as well. So if you are not yet a member of the Femacy Lighthouse VIP, I will put the link for you to join in the comment section. The moon is in Capricorn today. Let's get started. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. Earth sign Taurus coming out here first. We have the seven of swords energy, deception, a possible lie or a liar, a thief, someone trying to get away with something. This could be someone doing something behind your back. This could be an energy that is not to be trusted. This is someone that's trying to hide something. Whether it be from you or someone else around you. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords energy coming out here. Why is that? Why the Seven of Swords? Okay, so we have... The Five of Cups energy. Someone is trying to get away from an individual that feels like this. Someone is disappointed in the Seven of Swords, but they know exactly what they're doing. That's the crazy part. This Seven of Swords energy knows exactly what they did to this Five of Cups. Okay, but it's like they're avoiding the situation. Whether it's you or someone else around you, it's like someone did this person dirty they know what they did but they're still trying to get away with something they're trying to run away they don't want to face the situation i feel like somebody just wants to get out of the house they just don't want to be around a group of people for some reason tell me more about this five of cups energy so far we have libra gemini aquarius cancer scorpio pisces energy coming out here tell me more talk to me about this five of cups Talk to me about this Five of Cups. Who is this person? The Four of Cups. So it's somebody that feels alone or they feel lonely. They feel that someone is not paying any mind to them. I feel like in actuality, this person right here, they trying to get away from somebody. But who are they trying to get away from? Tell me more. They trying to get away from the Ace of Cups. All right, so I feel like this Seven of Swords is the Ace of Cups for this person that's in the Five of Cups and the Four of Cups, all right? So Taurus, you could be the one that's in this Five of Cups, Four of Cups energy, all right? Or this could be your person, right? But I just feel like someone is trying to run away from the truth with the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups. The truth is, is that they are the Ace of Cups for the person that they have feeling in the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups. So why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? And I also feel that today it's like they wanna go out or they don't wanna be around a group of people for some reason. I feel like they could be irritated, easily irritable. Tell me more about this person. Why are they running away from the truth here? Seven of Pentacles because they feel bad about it. Tell me more, Seven of Pentacles energy. Justice, so it's difficult to get things balanced. They are off balance, they are not on balance. Okay, let's make that very clear. If you have to be the Seven of Swords energy, if you have to run away from your truth and if you cannot confront who you really are, then obviously you are the temperance in reverse. I'm sorry, like, there's no justice if you can't come clean or be honest with yourself. This person does not want to face what the problem really is. So therefore, they're going to be the temperance in reverse. They're going to be in reverse, period. So I don't know how they think they're moving forward. They're not moving forward the more that they lie to themselves, right? Tell me more. Talk to me about the emperor energy. So there goes Taurus, right? Because this is you having to tell them, look. If you keep running that way and running away from the truth, 
You're not getting ahead. You think you're getting ahead, but you're not. You're going in reverse as a matter of fact. All right, so you're not helping yourself by continuing to be the seven of swords. Like, what are you trying to get away with? Eventually, it's going to catch up to you. Hmm. Spirit, talk to me about the present when it comes to this person. Page of Cups. All right, so we have the Page of Cups energy. Tell me more about that. Page of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Tell me more about... All right, and we have... This Knight of Pentacles energy. You could very well be the one, Taurus, that is moving in a different direction, even though you don't want to. You may be the Ace of Cups for somebody, but you're like, you know what? I'm out of here with the Seven of Swords. All right. So as you already know, these energies are interchangeable. We could be talking about you or the person that you're dealing with. Okay. I feel that someone is avoidant here. That's what I'm still getting. It's like someone is avoiding, all right? I feel like you may have somebody that is eager to speak to you, but they're still in this energy of not wanting to face you. So they want to talk to you. They don't want to face you. So they have to make up their mind, all right? You want to talk to me, but yet you don't dare come to me? Why is that? So if you feel like that, what's going on within you? Because the person that I feel you've always known, Taurus, when it comes to this individual, is someone that was never afraid to confront you on other topics. But now, all of a sudden, they don't wanna face you and they don't wanna confront you, but they still wanna talk to you? What type of shit is that? What's going on with this person? Who have they turned into, right? What happened to them? Tell me more. Tell me more about this energy. The strength card, Leo energy. The hermit, yeah. You know, it's like they're fighting. Fighting to keep something quiet or fighting to stay silent. Why are they doing that? Tell me more. Why are they doing that? You know, the thing is, is that realistically, you're both very much interested in each other, as we can see the King of Cups and the Ace of Wands, right? But they're fighting with themselves. They're battling themselves. Tell me more about them. The Three of Swords, heartbreak, third-party situations, other people involved. Do they feel bad about what they've done, Spirit? Do you feel like they have remorse? Do they have remorse? They do. Page of Cups for the second time coming out here. You have two Page of Cups. They feel bad. Are they telling you that though? Right? It's like, where are they? It's You're not... You're not impressed with this side of them. Like, this is not the person you met. This is not, you know, um, what you were attracted to anyway. It's not. Are they even attracted to themselves? Do they love themselves? Or are they living by somebody else's standards, somebody else's guidelines? Are they faking a way of being? What happened to this person? What happened? That's what I keep hearing. Talk to me about the future. Six of Swords energy, travel. What is the Six of Swords? because this is what they want. And then at the bottom of the deck, your best friend, Page of Swords, Taurus, as you know, almost every day you have the Page of Swords. So we have the Six of Swords to the Six of Cups to the Magician. This is what they really want. They know what they're looking for. It's like, how can I really navigate 
to where I really want to be. All right. Because obviously this person is going from the six of swords to the six of cups, which is you. Right. And then we have this magician. Can we make things work? Can we start this over? I feel bad about what I did. I didn't mean to. Something like that is what I hear them saying. But this is like them internally. This is not, I don't, I don't feel them saying it to you. I hope that in the future, if you are important to this person, and if you are reciprocal, if, if you want to reciprocate, I hope that they'll express this and verbalize and communicate it to you, you know. I'm not sure if they can do that because they continue to watch. I don't know what all the watching is about. What are they scared of? What are they scared of? They're scared to actually take that leap. And I don't know what that leap is for them. It feels like a risk. That's what they're scared of. And why is that? Because of their foundation, where they live at, and whatever it is that they have going on, the Four of Wands. So they feel like if they start dealing with you, that it'll make them unstable in some way. So they're afraid of their own emotions. The only way it's going to make them unstable is if they don't know how to control their mind. Everyone has willpower. So you have to be able to say, look. I'm going to do what I think I can't do because I want to do it. And I'm not going to let my mind control me. This person lets their mind control them. No, we're supposed to influence our mind. We don't let our mind control us. That's what this person does not understand, which is why they're scared to take a leap towards you because they're already assuming what the outcome is going to be without knowing because they're listening to their mind. And it's like, no, if everybody just lets their mind run wild, do you know what would happen to each of us? No, no. We influence our mind. We educate our minds. So this person has that issue. It's like, they're so fearful of taking the risk. What's the outcome? They're gonna come towards you anyway because they want to. It's what they want to do, all right? They want to, but their mind is telling them something else. How about what they really want in life? Have they ever thought about that? Or has their mind been holding them back? You tell me. Because Taurus, I feel like you're a go-getter. Like you want to go for it regardless if people say that you can't and you're just going to prove them wrong. Not because you want to prove them wrong, but it's just the way you operate. Right? And so as soon as you come up out of nowhere, everyone's like, oh shit, I didn't know that. I didn't, I had no idea she was into that or he was into that. Wow. Yeah. That's how we operate. But this person over here. They just, they're not listening to their intuition, period, period. You know what I mean? It's just, it's not, it's not there. I don't know if they have any type of spirituality. I don't feel like they're utilizing that. Um, the closest thing to spirituality they probably have is you. Hopefully you're waking them up. Right. Hopefully you're getting them to understand and to see that it's time to wake up. You know, that's the energy that I'm getting. Um, I think it's working, Taurus. It actually is, believe it or not. All right. So that's what I have for you, Taurus, to book a private session. All of that info is below. Take care.